My question is to the Minister for the Environment and Water. How is the Albanese Labor government acting to protect Australia's threatened species and what are the threats facing our native plants and animals? Call to the Minister for the Environment and Water. Uh, thank you so much, Mr Speaker, and I want to thank the member for Macon, who I know is a, um, a great fan of our beautiful Australian wildlife. We saw members of parliament from both sides today and from this chamber and the other place visiting our wonderful animals uh, uh, brought into parliament by Aussie Ark, Wild Bark, Priam, Australian National Botanic Gardens and ACT Wildlife, bringing those animals and plants in for Threatened Species Day. I want to thank the conservationists who brought the animals in, the scientists who uh, came in today and the volunteers who care for injured animals. Uh, we saw all of them bringing little Tassie devils, Charlie and Lola, Pebbles the wombat, Banjo the blue tongue lizard, Marshmallow the python, a glossy black cockatoo called Fifty, uh, Marla the joey and a range of other a very beautiful, uh, very beautiful Australian animals. It really was a celebration of native wildlife today, Mr Speaker. Yeah. So thank you to those who brought the animals in and thank you to the members of parliament who came along to see them. But of course, uh, Threatened Species Day has a very serious message as well. And today we released a, a number of uh, additional uh, documents that will better protect our threatened species, including a document for consultation on how we deal with the enormous threat, poor, uh, uh, enormous threat um, that is uh, feral cats in Australia. We know that cats kill about six million animals in Australia every night. Cats kill about six million animals every night. And we know that they've played a role in about two thirds of extinctions that have already occurred in Australia, and that there are about another 200 animals on the threatened species list that are vulnerable to cat predation. So we're releasing a consultation document because we know that, of course, there is a role for the Commonwealth Government, there's a role for state and territory governments, and there is very certainly a role for local councils and other organisations in dealing with the threat posed by cats attacking native animals. We saw a great example of one of the responses to uh, feral cat predation, and that was the Felixer machine, uh, one that we are seeing rolled out across Australia dealing with feral cats. We want to make sure that we provide cat-free environments, islands and fenced areas and other solutions to prevent feral cats uh, attacking Australian yeah, animals. Um, Mr Speaker, our government is investing $500 million in protecting the against these threats. Has.